the tiniest bit just to give myself some new ends, just in case the very tips of this are getting a little bit tired. See, I'm, I'm really not doing much. You can't even see me losing length at all. I can't see me losing length at all. Then we're gonna target the split ends. So I take the ends in my hand and I just kind of fray them out. You can do this in sections if you have more hair than I do. And if you see any split ends, you're just gonna go ahead and just snip them right over where you see the split. So I make sure to isolate each little bit so that I don't cut more hair than I mean to. I am very, very careful about this. Cause it's easy to go all crazy and just like start chopping at your hair, but that's not gonna end well. So just go through and very carefully cut just the split ends. But when you do this, you're gonna keep the damage from traveling up your hair so that piece of hair can keep getting longer so hopefully eventually you have nice thick ends, um, which is I think what we're all going for is nice thick long hair. My ends already, like running my hand over is already so much smoother. All right, so the next thing that you wanna do is look at the hair that frames your face. So any little shorter face framing hairs, these are usually the most damaged ends on anybody's hair. So you wanna go ahead and pull those forward and take a look for some split ends there. Ooh, that one has four split ends. That's like a split end on a split end on a split end. Bye. The final thing that we're gonna do is actually look for split ends in here because sometimes hair will break off, you know, when we're styling it because a hair elastic pulls on it, something like that and you'll have a broken end in here that's split. And that hair is never gonna get really long because that damage is traveling up. So what we wanna do is find the split ends inside of here and kind of like do a rescue mission so that we keep the damage from traveling up and those shorter hairs can eventually grow nice and long like the rest of our hair. So the first thing is to twist the hair and then I just kind of like run my hand backwards so that all the little short hairs poke out. Then I look for split ends on the ends of those short hairs and if I see any, I cut them off. I'm really careful not to go crazy because sometimes when I see like lots and lots of ends, I'm like, you gotta cut them all, but no, you don't. Also you wanna make sure that you're kind of like rotating it so that there's no little ends hiding somewhere where you can't see. All right, then once you've done that, you can twist it again in the other direction because probably more will still pop up. 